video that his wife took of him watching his team from his basement went viral. It was really cool to see how into the game he was watching from abroad as Zed Key scores the first bucket of the game for Ohio State. Guarded by Nathan McClure, and Branham fires off the back iron. Liddell open for three, Trano. They battle some elite bigs in the Big Ten this season. IUPUI is every. Here's McClure back to LaPersia. Shots have been very difficult to come by for IUPUI so far, but there's the first field goal of the night from Chooks Isitua. On the cut, Sotos with the layup. Did a great job there, staying low, keeping his hand high to dissuade the three-point shot. Pandev kick out to Persia. The lefty fires and hits the three. Sotos with three on the shot clock. And the lay-in by Eugene Brown, the third. Nifty dump off from Sotos. Inside a 10 to shoot. Pocket pass to to Persia. What a feed from Dimitar Pandev. And to Persia's going to the line with a chance for a three-point play. But he's got six in the first half for the Jaguars. All the way over to Branham in the corner. That one rattles down and out and back in. The Big Ten is such a good league, and, and Illinois has been great the past few years. The future is bright. Uh, but it's just, it's, it's, it's great to cover this whole league. And wow, tough finish from B.J. Maxwell. Right. Uh, and if you do that, if you play fast, if you, you have a chance. Playing fast right now after another IUPUI steal, and Lestrap, the layup, puts it in. Ohio State is one of those teams. Joey Brunk kept the pivot foot down, but missed the layup. E.J. Liddell for two. I like Arns just looking to the basket, showing the ball, showing his eyes to the rim. He's creating opportunities for his teammates. And Cedric Russell. State Farm halftime report coming up next. E.C. Tua around E.J. Liddell and the inside game starting to work a little bit for the Jags. Here's Chooks, E.C. Tua, and he drops it in. But E.C. Tua, again, a freshman, is having a great game against Ohio State, six points. Now Malachi Branham, short. There's E.J. Liddell. Jump stop and a score for Eugene Brown, who used his body very well, and he's got eight. And then played last year at a Division II school in Texas, St. Edwards University. IUPUI takes the ball away as it's tipped to E.C. Tua. They're really good offensively, but they're allowing IUPUI's just kind of strange defenses to slow them down a bit. But, hey, we mentioned the cross-court passes from E.J. Liddell. Another great find, Eugene Brown sticking it. And this is where I'd like to see Ohio State play with a little bit more flow. Not Brown, two-hand flush. There's your flow. Jimmy Soto's on the floor as the point guard. You see Zed Key just establishing post position right off the bat. Nice spin and around the world it drops through. Buckeyes last game was just on Sunday, a five-point win at home against Penn State. If this game had not been scheduled, and there's a two-point shot at the horn by Bakari Lestrap. It would be great to see him knock one down. I know Chris Holtman would love to see that. Arnzo for two from deep today, and right-hand hook shot for Kyle Young. Young's got four points in the second half. Bucknell's a good program. He averaged over 11 points, four assists a game as a junior. That you know, this is a kid that can play, and you know he's an important piece. You never know what could happen, and you might need some minutes. And I like Justin Arns. He doesn't venture inside the three-point line a whole lot. I'm in, I'm envisioning a basketball player going to a karaoke bar and saying, "Oh no, I'm just practicing using my voice to get <laughs> foul calls." I don't know about all that, but. Stanton drives blocked by Brunk. A three on three. And to Persia's blocked by Sotos. All the way over to Arns. This is like a free throw. Got it. Pete Nance expected to play, did not play against Michigan State. Wisconsin or Northwestern still got it done. Nice feed from Jimmy Sotos. And Brunk takes it the rest of the way. Four points for Brunk. Okay, club trill. It's an Ohio State reference. Mike Tite, Mark Titus. Nice finish there, too. Have a week, young man. Sotos for three on the feed from Hunkfin. A 
Of course, they got it. They played the game. But do you think this is a step forward for Ohio State as far as just getting their rhythm and consistency back? You get the opportunity to step out on the court and compete and play in front of fans. That means something.